Hello guys and thank you for joining me on another tutorial. Today I am bringing to you a Google Chrome extension called Moat. Moat has been around for a little while but they have been making tremendous improvement to this product. This is one way that teachers can improve their productivity by utilizing audio comments when giving feedback to students. It can also be used for students to be able to collaborate with their peers in a time-efficient manner. Moat is used in Google Classroom, Google Slides, Google Docs, Google Sheets. Um, I'm really excited to show this to you. So without any further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Install the Moat Chrome extension, grant permission for your Gmail account, and f fill in the on-screen fields. If you don't notice the extension in your extension bar, click on the puzzle piece and then click on the pin icon to pin it to your extension bar. Let's get started first with the icon for mode for Google Slides. Again, you'll grant permissions. With this option, you're able to add audio onto um, any of the slides in your slide deck. As you're recording, you'll notice the countdown to let you know how much time you have remaining. You'll give it a few seconds to generate the audio. You can rewind, play. If you're okay with your recording, you can choose to insert or delete and restart your audio. Once it's finished um, loading up, it's going to open the formatting, the audio format. You can choose if you want it to play on click or automatically. I'm going to leave it on click. Again, you can drag the icon to anywhere on the screen and you can also resize. The students will be able to play from the slide deck. Now let's look at the comments feature. Click on comments and then you will click on the purple mode icon. Again, you'll record your instructions or your comment for your students. Click done when you're finished. Then you click on the pencil icon. You can then edit the recording or redo the recording if you're not okay with it. I like the feature that you can translate. Translate means it's only going to translate the transcription, not the audio. Choose the language of your choosing. I'm going to choose a save as and save it to my mode pad. With this feature, I'm able to reuse this comment in the future. And I'll show you how to do that in a few. Click save. And I'm going to click comment so that it stays. Now let's look at this on the student's um, view. And this is for a student who does not have the mode Chrome extension. They will, when they click on the link, they will be redirected to the Moat website. It'll take a few moments to load, and here they can listen to the recording, and if they understand, they can click on the diamond, and if they're confused, they'll click on the worried face. For it's ex So we're going to have them add that to their Chrome extension. So add this Chrome extension so that they are not redirected. For students, they're going to select students, of course, other instead of teachers. They'll sign up with their Gmail account. Again, grant permission just like the teachers. And you'll notice that this can be used in the G Suite Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Sheets. You'll restart and now you're able to use, the students are able to use Moat. Now you'll notice that they can play the comment right in the Google Slide without being redirected to a website. And again, the students will follow the same measure by clicking on comments to add an audio comment in Google Slide. This is great if they're collaborating on a project and they want to communicate with each other via audio instead of texting.
of typing. Similarly, they can edit um, and use the translate feature for their recordings. Now let's go back to the teacher. Let me now show you two very powerful features of Moat. These are actually my favorite. Click on the extension and now you're going to then click on settings and help. We're going to turn on the voice transcription feature. With this feature, you're able to not only record, but to have a transcription of your voice recording. So similarly, you will click on the comment, click on the mode extension, click on the mode icon, sorry, and start recording your audio. When you're done, click on the pencil icon to edit. And now you'll give it a few moments and you'll see the transcription. You can click anywhere to make any edits that are needed. Once you're okay, again, you can save that for future use. And I'm going to show you in a few how you will be able to reuse these. I'll click comment so that my students are able to read and see the transcription read the transcription sorry and listen to the recording the next cool feature i'm going to show you again is settings and help is to enable the stem mode um, this you're able to use this for um, algebraic equations like for math and science and so forth so in this option i'm just going to dictate uh, the, an equation and you'll see that it's going to transcribe that just give it a few seconds to load and i'm going to make an edit again i'm just going to delete the word equal and just put the symbol on this again i can replay any of these now let me show you how to reuse one of the comments that you've used in the past just hold down on the mode icon and you'll see the saved from the um, popular comments from your mode book. You click on it and you just click comment. So this saves you a lot of time, especially if you use these comments over and over. So let me show you real quickly how this can also be used in Google Classroom. It's the same format. Um, in this case, I'm just I'm giving a private comment to a student in Google Classroom. I've left the transcription feature turned on so that I can use this um, so that I don't have to type on the students end they can also correspond with the teacher using the moat um, the moat feed the moat extension sorry about the fumbling Another cool feature with Moat is they can also click on that extension, the Moat extension in the extension bar, and they can record right there. When they're finished, click done. It's saved to the clipboard and they can just copy, they just paste the recording and it's going to be able to play right in the comment there. So that's an added cool feature. Thank you and remember you can use modes in slides, sheets, classroom and docs.